signals. Bandwidth represents the set of frequencies over which a communication system operates in sending and receiving the signals. Communication may involve transmission of various kinds of data such as just a voice, music, picture, video or just textual data. The bandwidth of a signal therefore depends on the kind of information that is being sent through the signal. The type of communication system used in sending and receiving the signal in turn depends on the bandwidth used for the signal. For example, if the signal consists of speech such as a telephonic conversation, then the required range of frequencies is from 300 Hz to 3100 Hz. Therefore, the bandwidth for voice transmissions is given by 3100 Hz minus 300 Hz. This is equal to 2800 Hz. If the signal to be transmitted is music, then the range of frequencies include the lowest to the highest possible audible range of frequencies, that is, from 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz. This is because apart from the vocals used in the song, the musical instruments produce sound varying from very low to very high frequency. The bandwidth required for transmission of music signals is therefore nearly 20,000 Hz. Similarly, the transmission of video signal requires a bandwidth of 4.2 MHz and the transmission of video plus audio signal requires a bandwidth of about 6 MHz. All the bandwidths mentioned up to now refer only to the analog signals. The modern technology involves passage of information from one place to the other through digital network rather than analog network. In a digital network, only two states are recognized, a high state and a low state. The digital signals are in the form of rectangular pulses. However, it can be shown that a rectangular digital wave can be decomposed into a number of sinusoidal analog waves of frequencies which are harmonics or integral multiples of a fundamental frequency. Here you see a rectangular digital pulse. This rectangular wave can be said to contain waves of fundamental frequency of the first harmonic N0, the second harmonic 2N0, third harmonic 3N0 and so on. From this we see that to reproduce the exact rectangular pulse we would need infinite harmonics and this implies infinite bandwidth. However, for practical purposes the higher harmonics are neglected and only the required number of harmonics in which the signal can be accommodated are considered. This limits the bandwidth of the signal to be transmitted. Although this leads to a certain amount of loss in the signal, if the bandwidth is chosen to accommodate the required number of higher harmonics, this loss can be minimized.